Yes guys, what's going on? It's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. Today we're taking a look at the Rosanta R53. This is a new addition to the Rosanta series by Andro. It's their hardest rubber yet, coming at 53 degrees. It seems like a lot of manufacturers now are bringing out hard rubbers. It's gonna be an interesting one. Also, it's their most expensive rubber yet, coming in at 59 euros. Let's see how it stacks up. So it looks like the hardness race is on. A lot of companies are bringing out harder rubbers and this is Andro's R53. This is one of the hardest out right now from a German based company. It's coming at 53 degrees and really interesting because over the last few years a lot of companies are bringing out softer based rubbers like the MXP which is 47 degrees, also the Rosanta R47. But this is Rosanta R53, something very new and different and it's hard got a hard sponge. Also, Andro do claim on their marketing that the sponge properties are different. They've changed the shape, which you can see on the graphic here, which is meant to help with the elasticity and the propulsion of the rubber. So looking forward to trying it out. So the Rosanta R53 weighs 74 grams. I used the T-Mobile ALC throughout the review with the Rosanta R53 on both sides, and Tom used the new Gauzy SL blade throughout. Let's get started. So guys, I'm sure the first thing that's on your mind is how does this match up to the previous Rosanta rubbers? Now, I'm gonna tell you it produces more spin, which is a good advantage. It has a bit more spin. You can feel the ball engage into the rubber, giving you more shot quality. That being said, because it is a harder sponge, to get this effect, you have to hit the ball hard to engage the sponge beneath. The 50 degree version of the Rosanta is definitely more suited to a well developed technical player. For example, the R42 and R47, which are softer versions, give you a lot more control. Of course, that control with the softer rubber means you don't have as much punch and venom that you get with the new R53. Talking about spin, the Rosanta R53 went I was wide and out of position, playing forehands, for some reason I really noticed the grip more and I could feel the ball biting into the rubber. So for away from the table, the spin you can generate with the R53 is good. One of the drawbacks, however, is you aren't going to get that high-end spin when playing softer, slower shots, especially when playing close to the table. With the R53, you need to have good acceleration into the ball in order to get the most out of the rubber in terms of spin. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> with hard rubbers like this, you have to actually work with the ball and, and play with quality spins. You don't get away with it. You can't do a nothing shot. No, you, know, get power. you have to still play the ball. What I mean by this is, for example, with a Rosanta R47, because it's softer, you do have more safety in your strokes. As you can see here, I do make some mistakes where the ball goes into the net. The simple reason being is that the R53 is harder, so I need to be more precise with my strokes. Otherwise, I can misjudge and mistime the ball. Interestingly, talking of the hardness, Andrew do state on their website that the R53, although it is hard, it does have a softer feeling. Now I can confirm this is true, it's not just marketing nonsense. For example, the MXP hard, which we'll release a review on very soon, is 50 degree sponge hardness and feels harder than the R53. Which is interesting, this means you will get a bit more forgiveness with the R53 than you may think. Now an area which stood out for me, which is a similar characteristic with most German based rubbers, is that it's very good for blocking. Even though it's hard, I had a lot of control in this area. The ball just rebounded off really nicely. Now, the R53 did take some adjustments with counter topspins when I played a big stroke. Short compact strokes over the table with counter topspins worked great, but when I really tried to accelerate, I did have to time it well with the counter topspin. When I did get that timing point right, the shot was very strong. Hey Tom, that's one thing that hard rubbers are good for. It's like early at the table counter, mm. you know, it does the work. Pressuring through. Yeah. 
Soft rubbers, it can be a bit more like you can go to the net out. My rubbers, you're getting that direct Christmas. All right, here's some open points where we test out the serves and returns. The R53 does require a delicate touch to keep the ball tight over the net. But all in all, here's some points where we had some good play. There we go guys, the Rosanta R53 using the 53 degree sponge hardness. Now this is the hardest German based rubber we've reviewed so far and I've got to say I like it a lot and you can see the trend right now on why manufacturers are starting to choose harder rubbers. I think it definitely helps with the plastic ball, it gives you more pace on it and also with the harder rubber you feel more of a consistent contact than softer rubbers. Also advanced players are all going for harder rubbers right now generally. And I think the reason behind this is they can be more aggressive and you can get more power with harder rubbers. So you can see why the top players are going for this and the companies are following that suit. As Tom mentioned in the review, during slow shots and when you're trying to play slow, you don't get as much spin as when using a softer rubber. With the R53 or harder rubbers like this, you do have to put a lot of effort and quality into your shot to get maximum use out of it. But I would say the R53 does produce more spin than the previous versions like the R47 when you do go for all out power. The top end of this rubber is higher quality. So who do I recommend the R53 for? Now I have said that this is for advanced players. The reason behind this is because of the hard sponge, you don't have much forgiveness. So when you're in the rally, you've got to have good technique because if you don't hit the perfect center and the right shot, the ball's probably going to fly off the table quite easily, which I found as well if I won in position. So, this rubber is for those advanced players. Now, of course, the R47 or the R43, the previous generation rubbers, do have a lot more control. So, depending on what you're looking for right now, depending on what you play like, if you're a very attacking and aggressive player, R53 will do you great. The also with the R53, it does have more spin than the previous rubbers, and I think the reason behind this is that the, the, whether they've improved the top sheet or not, I'm not sure from Andro, but the harder version allows you to bite into the ball better. So you're getting more spin there. And also with this harder version, the 53, away from the table, you can get good grips, you can play good high looping shots. So when you're out of position, it helps you a lot there. Now I wouldn't say it's as much spin as the Tenor G05 or a Chinese style rubber, but it's a massive improvement by Andro and a very good rubber indeed. And lastly, one thing I'd like to note is that throughout I've been saying it's a hard rubber, which it is 53 degrees, but weirdly, it doesn't feel rock hard when you're playing with it, like I have felt with other rubbers. Um, and I'm not sure the reason behind that, so there is a bit of forgiveness. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of the Rosanta R53. Have you used hard rubbers like this yourself? would love to see your comments and get back to you. For now guys, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.